hi everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well i am back with these amazing coasters by molds and shapes some of you may have seen my molds and shapes unboxing where they sent me quite a few amazing molds to try and this one here is the tetris this is available on their website and i do have a code for you guys which is ccc5 at the checkout for your five percent off so if you like the look of the results of these then do head over and check them out now my initial plan for these in my head i even said it in the video i wanted to use some chameleon powders now i only have two left these are they they're gorgeous absolutely gorgeous but because these have got kind of like a border on them i wanted to go with a black so my in my head i'm seeing black and purple so yeah my plan is i'm going to mix some resin now in a minute now in a minute <laughs> and then i'm going to pour the outskirts are going to be black leave it about five six hours and then come back and brush the chameleon powder in so i am going to be using black pigment from resin 8 and some of that super sparkle white that i have been using a lot of lately and i cannot get enough of it at all so i'm gonna get my mask on open the window and from here on in it will be voice over claire i've got my gloves on safety first and yeah let's go <laughs> So like I said, I'm going to mix up my black opaque pigment with the super sparkle white and then I'm just going to walk away for a few hours and let that semi cure to the point of just touch dry because what I don't want is my paintbrush to touch it and get stuck. But look at this sparkle. This is when I honestly started to think I had the shakes like how I could not pour in a straight line and I just didn't understand. <laughs> I was trying to be so careful and knowing that resin kind of self levels in the end it kind of works its way down into the into the valleys anyway but yeah I was getting it everywhere absolutely everywhere and I feel like for some sometimes resin is quite static so when you think you're pouring down in a straight line the resin actually does a left turn like it does a left turn if anyone has experienced that please let me know it flies like static so it kind of just goes off and you can see the splashes on the top right there in the corner it just flew up onto the side and i thought well i did not put you there anyway here i am I, it kind of got easier as i went along my confidence grew to the point where I could get one done quite quickly. But yeah, I have sped this up for you guys because you do not need to sit through this at real time. That would be painful. But there I am just finishing off the fourth one now. And by this point, my hands weren't shaky anymore and I could pretty much manage it. Now, one thing I didn't do, which I should have done, was go in with my heat gun. It didn't actually occur to me on this project. I just, yeah, it just didn't occur to me. And you can see there are some blobs here, some little splashes. So I've just gone in with a cotton bud. I have a tub of cotton bud on hand at all times. This is around around four or five hours later this is the chameleon powder that i'm using so it has like a purple and a blue a blue kind of shimmer so in some lights it should look purple and in some lights it should look blue again i'm speeding this up for you guys you don't really need to sit through the real time because this whole process took around half an hour to do all four sorry about the back of the hand shot although Looking at it now, I, I look quite hydrated. <laughs> That's all the water I've been drinking lately. Oh, dearie me. Look at this, guys. It is absolutely stunning. The detail, honestly, I just I cannot wait to see what these are going to look like. I just cannot wait. Let me know what colour choices you would go for. I ask you again at the end, so you won't forget... <laughs> But I'm not going to show you me brushing all four because like I said it was time consuming and I was losing the light at this point so I just went ahead mixed up my black resin just to fill the back. Now if you haven't seen Wendy over at Toonpish actually does an experiment using mica powders and backing colours which is why most people use black resin on the back of a mica powder because it really really shows it up well so i decided to do that and fill them all with black i ran out first time in my life i didn't make enough like what i usually make way too much so off camera i fill the last one up and then we'll come back 
Kate, it has been around about 20 hours, not quite 24, but it's time to demold. Now, you didn't see this, but I filled this up off camera and I got some runoff. I didn't notice this when I left the room. And of course, now that I'm back, we're just going to have to cut this off with some scissors. And luckily, it's not been 24 hours, so it should be quite, quite easy to take off. Now, let's have a look. I am so excited for these. I've got no idea how they're going to turn out. So we'll have the first look together. They're still a little bit bendy. Are we ready? <gasps> what? Oh my. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is so amazing. Oh, I love. I absolutely love the edges with the crystal, what's it called? <laughs> I always forget. The super sparkle white in that black pigment. Look at that. These are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I am head over heels in love with the detail. So let's get the rest out. Oh, just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Let me know what colours you would do if you had this mould. Because, yeah, I'm loving, I'm loving the purple, I'm loving the purple and black. Listen to that. Oh, love that sound. Is that weird? I love that sound. These two will have to probably come out together or I'll snap it back. Yeah, I'll get them out together. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Just look at this. I'm going to just cut along here while it's still softish. Oh, love them. I absolutely love them. I love them so much. I cannot, I cannot believe how gorgeous these came out. So I'm just going to use my scissors right now to cut along here while it's still soft. Then later on, I'll go in with a little nail file just to make sure that those edges are not sharp. Oh, love, absolutely love, adore, j'adore. Wow. Just look at the, I mean, from there it looks kind of pinky orange. And then from there it looks purpley blue blue that's blue right and then purple there uh, I'm just uh, I just am in love I'm now out of powders I used the entire pot I've got none left in there whatsoever so I do need to get me some more chameleons because just yes now these aren't a hundred percent rock hard cured at this point so I'm gonna leave them on a flat surface because if you don't do that they will cure bendy and they will just not be good so I'm going to transfer them over to my shelf where it's nice and flat for them to cure another day let me know in the comments down below what you think of these if you think the purple and the black work together and that super sparkle white I am in love with this detail it just reminds me I know it's Tetris, but it actually reminds me of like an old Roman village or something. You can kind of see the rooftops of the houses and the detail is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I've never used anything like this. Let me know what your thoughts are. And yeah, I hope you've really enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.